In this video, you're going to see how to draw um, the seven circle design that you're going to need for the artwork we're going to produce. Uh, you will need a ruler and you will need a pair of compasses. Your compasses look a bit different from mine, um, but I'll talk through mine in a moment. Uh, the compasses will need a pencil in them. It's much better if you ha can, if you've got a choice, to use a 2H pencil or failing that, either an HB or a 3H or 4H. Please avoid using pencils that just have a number in the letter B, especially if it's a higher number. They don't work very well. OK, your compasses will look slightly different. This is like a top view, if you want. Uh, this thing here with the uh, little X in it, that's the point of my compasses. And at the other end is my pencil. And in the middle, it's the join where the two legs of the pencil meet. And uh, that's kind of probably going to be a black plastic thing on yours, depending on the make of your compasses. Um, but that's the join where the two of them meet. The first thing we're going to do is set our compasses. So I'm just going to drag the point down here um, and I'm going to move my pencil and I'm going to set them to two centimetres. Now, I've got uh, a small space to draw in. You should have a bigger space. If you have a piece of A4 paper, I suggest setting them to five centimetres. Uh, if you don't have A4, if you're working with the book, maybe a little bit smaller. Uh, once we've done that, we can get rid of the ruler and the compass settings must stay the same for the whole of this task. So do not touch the leg where the pencil is. Now, only hold the compasses by the leg where the point is or by the join where the two legs join in the middle. Don't touch the leg where the pencil is um, because you could end up resizing the compasses. OK, uh, move your compasses somewhere in the middle of the page. Put the point down somewhere in the centre. It doesn't need to be exact. You can do it by eye. And then holding either that leg or the middle of the compasses, I want you to draw a nice smooth circle. The video you watched gives you some hints on how to draw a circle. Um, the, moving the paper might work if you're struggling with it. Uh, and tipping the compasses a little bit to an angle rather than having the pencil completely vertical would help a little bit. If you tip it towards the way you're drawing, it can be a little bit easier. Keep some pressure on the point so that that doesn't slip. You don't need to push really hard, but just enough pressure to make sure it doesn't slip. Right, that's our first circle. Now we need to draw the next six. You need to be very careful here. Do not change the compass settings. Pick it up by the point and holding the leg with the point on as carefully as you can, I want you to place the point somewhere on the edge or the circumference of the circle. It doesn't matter where. Once you've done that, you're going to draw another circle. Round we go. Okay, and then we're going to draw five more. And what we're going to do each time now is we're going to pick up the compass point and we're going to move it to where the circles cross on the circumference of the original circle. So there's one. We'll draw another one. And we'll just keep going round, moving that to meet where they cross. Draw another one. Uh, I can draw my, compass, my circles quite quickly here because it's digital. You might need to take a little bit more time. You won't be doing it as speedily as I do. Um, draw another one around there. Move the compass point. I'm having a little trouble getting that exact. The more care you take over this, the better it will be. OK, and what you might notice is that all of these circles meet at the same point in the middle of the circle. That's a really good test of your accuracy. And some of you might want to wonder why that is, might want to be able to ask why that works. And finally, the sixth circle on the outside is our seven circles. Um, and what you'll see if I move that out of the way is that all of these circles overlap on the edge of the original circle. They all join at the same place and they all meet in the middle. That is your seven circle design, which forms the basis of all the artwork we're going to do.